Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today's video, it's a viewer request. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name and I can't find the video because I can't remember what video you um, commented on. Um, but the request is simple. If I've got a, a capacitor with say two or three caps inside it, how do we identify the, um, various, the various capacitors? Okay, so here we've got a uh, Chrysler 1120 circa 1952 and this can has a I'm just going to call them cans it's got a 16 and an 8 so which is which so let's pull up the schematic first and have a look so we can we can see there C37 is connected directly to the cathode of the rectifier um, which the positive then runs off through a voltage drop-in resistor to C53 which and also also in this particular case as you can see that resistor it's 1500 ohm and it's center tapped so um, the center tap is feeding uh, another resistor which I take to be C53B so now I can go to the we can go to the parts list and there it is there and C37 is a 16 and the other two are just eights. So cool, cool. Let's come back. We've solved the problem. Here's our uh, chassis again. And where are we? Uh, there's our rectifier here. And that's pin eight there. So there's the cathode. And there's my 16. That one, that terminal there, that's an eight. No problem solved. And the other one, the other 8 microfarad happens to be, in this case, down here. And if I follow the wiring, it goes off to the center tap of the resistor, which is, well, you can't see it, but it's inside on top of the chassis through that hole. All right. The other great thing about this particular one is that, um, well, we can <laughs> read what the values are. And... Um, I'll just come up top there. As you can see, the terminal with the red dot. Right, well, that's also marked on the uh, body of the capacitor. And I'll try and zoom in a little bit more. And there's a little red dot just in the, underneath 350 volts. And if I can turn that around, another little red dot over the 16. So, again, just a visual confirmation that that's the 16. But we've identified it as well through the... Um, schematic all right now imagine if you had a can with three capacitors in there um, and the one that comes to mind immediately is the Astor GN and that's got two 16s and a 25 microfarad so I'd be identifying the odd man out the 25 microfarad and I happen to know um, <laughs> that that's going to be the cathode bypass because uh, it's only a 40 volt um, capacitor so at that point I'd be going to my cathode of my output valve, whatever it is, 6M5, 6V6, you know, it's going to be pin 8 anyway of those two, for sure, and probably every one of them, all other valves, and um, using my continuity tester, go to pin 8, and one of the uh, three terminals on my cap can is going to buzz out. And the one that buzzes out, there's my 25, and I'll just mark that. And of course, the, one, the two that are left, they're both 16s. All right. Now, the same situation applies if you had three caps in one can, and say, 8, 16, and a 24, or 25. Um, if you've got the schematic, same process, which is the um, cap connected directly to the cathode. And that's your first cap. And as long as you've got the parts list there or the schematic details of value of the, of the um, capacitor, all good. Now let's get into worst case scenarios. No capa no sorry, no schematic at all, or a schematic with no values and you have no parts list. Alright, um, we'll use um, the Chrysler here as an example. So I know it's an 1120, 1952, and in fact, in worst case scenario, I don't know what the model is. <laughs> That's That happens too. But let's not go too far overboard. So, no schematic, but I know the um, 
the era it's from, and I know the, the make of it. So um, I've been looking up schematics from 1951, 2 and 3. And I'll be looking for a similar or exact valve lineup and hope you might find it. If you can't find an exact valve lineup, I'd be looking, pardon me, I'd be looking at the um, rectifier and in this case 665. So I'd be looking at those schematics. And whatever the consensus is, if the majority of them have the 16 connected to the cathode of your rectifier or the 8, that's what I'll be going with. So if you get it wrong, you're not going to kill it. Um, one guy on one of the, on a thread said that if you don't know which capacitor to attach to the cathode of your rectifier, he said choose the lower value cap. That's assuming you know that say it's an eight and a sixteen. Um, and I thought oh, I'd use that as a rule of thumb. Well, you can, um, but of course. I've been looking at a number of um, schematics and I noticed that a lot of them have the higher value cap connected to the cathode of the rectifier and the smaller value is second. Yet on lots of others, it's the other way around. The lower value is um, first and the higher value is second. Hey, again, I'll just go with the consensus based upon several schematics Again, within that era, as close to the setup or the valve setup as you've got on your turn on your um, chassis. So, guys, that's it. And that's how we do it. And oh, that's a couple of ways to do it anyway. Um, and some might say, "Well, why don't you just um, measure out the um, uh, capacitance?" And I'll set my uh, multimeter to. Got it on capacitor, and let's go to the negative. Let's see what we get. So I'm, I've got it on the eight. And that says 37 microfarad. Right, let's go to the 16. And just wait. And that's 54. And, you, hey, you can use that. You can say, well, okay, that's high capacitance, so that must be 16. That's lower, 54. Okay, so that is another way to do it. Normally, I don't have any luck with um, measuring these old caps. But, um, again, that's another way you can, you can do it, as long as you know what the values are. But when you don't know what the values are... <laughs> then you're in for some fun and games. Anyway, that's it. Nice short video. If you've got any further questions on this or you want me to just clarify something, please, you know, feel free to um, contact me. Um, and if you are stuck for a schematic, um, hey, send me an email and um, I might have it. If I do, happy to send it off to you. And there's my uh, email address down below on the screen. So anyway, hope this helps a little bit. And um, certainly, I could have used a video like this when I was starting out because um, I had absolutely no bloody idea about uh, a capacitor with uh, more than one cap in it. Anyway, anyway. All right, guys. I'll be back soon. Take care, everybody. Have fun. Bye.